So let's talk about some factors that might affect um, the effectiveness of a medication, all right? And I just wrote several up here. So age, can you see how an age might affect the effectiveness of a medication? If I'm three years old or if I'm 83, how much med and how it might work in my body? The size. If I'm 80 pounds or if I'm 280 pounds, that definitely is going to affect how a medication is going to work in my body. If I'm much larger, I might need a bigger dose of a medication. Diet. This is really, this one might, these are simple and easy. You can easily think that through a diet. Did you know that, for instance, Coumadin, a blood thinner, that if you eat a diet rip that has a lot of green leafy vegetables or yellow or dark colored vegetables, that it will affect your, the way the Coumadin works in your body? Those actually have vitamin K, which is a clotting factor. And if you take Coumadin, which is a blood thinner, they work against each other. So a diet would have something to do with it for sure. Also, you may have heard about the grapefruit interaction. It's not just grapefruits, it's tangelos, little cuties, grapefruit, several things that can interfere with certain drugs that you take. Okay, time of day. That's definitely going to be a factor. You wouldn't want to take a sleeping pill in the morning unless you work thirds. <laughs> Gender and sex. That is right now just becoming a big deal. Uh, did you know that it wasn't that long ago when they used to only test drugs on men? I mean, not that long ago at all. And the reason for that is when they added women to the mix and all of the hormones and everything else, it was difficult to really understand the, the effect a drug had. Well, now we know that you can't just, for an adult, give the same dose. We know, for instance, like with Ambien, women should take 40% of the dose of men. We metabolize things a little differently. There's a lot of other stories I can tell you about that. On. Genetics. I talked earlier about the way that we metabolize and biotransform meds. Genetics has a lot to do with the way that the drugs will work in our body. So this has effect as well. Environmental conditions. Holy cow, you know, I'm thinking right now about nitroglycerin. If, if you've ever seen nitro, they're teeny tiny little pills and they come in this little dark glass vial and you open it up and you put one under your tongue for angina, chest pain. And these meds, this, the nitroglycerin, it's really important that you keep it away from light, away from um, air, and um, in, in away from heat. So that's why they put them in those dark little tiny vials, to keep them away from light, heat, and air. If they are exposed to those conditions, they won't work near as well. Sometimes not at all. So that's something to consider. Attitude. <laughs> Do you, have you ever known people that are like, it's not going to work on me, it's not going to work on me, you can give it, it's just not going to work. Does it work? No. Are we surprised? No. Or on the other hand, the placebo effect. This is the greatest thing. If you take this, you're going to feel amazing. It's fantastic. And they take it, half an hour, they're like, you know, I do feel better. Placebo effect. So your attitude can certainly affect it as well. Other diseases, other diagnoses. You know, liver is king. If you don't have a good liver, you're not going, to, meds will not work correctly in your body. So if you have liver disease, can you see how that is going to affect the way the medication works in your body? Also, many other diseases can have that effect as well. If you have kidney disease, heart disease, it can affect how that drug works in your body. So there are several factors that are going to affect how well drugs work in your body. And that's why it's important for you to understand these things and be alert to them because if you have someone who has an issue, let's say that they have um, some uh, liver failure, you're going to be wanting to watch to see how well that drug is working. 
you're going to be wanting to watch to see if they are getting toxic much earlier than what you would expect. They may not be able to handle a very large dose. You're going to have to watch all of these things and take them into consideration because you're going to be the one. You're going to be the one to notice these changes first. Because lots of times the first change you'll see in the elderly is confusion. And you need to take a look. What's going on here? Have they had a medication change? It's these kind of things that make you so important in the job you do.